ambulance dispatch for what town or city? Red, you're Alberta. She's not breathing. She's having difficulty breathing right now. Please. 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 They're on their way, okay? How old is she? She's 16 months. She's 16 months. My name is Leslie Bangamba and I live in Red Deer, Alberta. My daughter almost died after she ingested a lithium coin battery. Uh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's just one of those things that's really hard for me to talk about, um, even now. Uh, because I, I, I wouldn't wish for anyone to go through this. I'm Matthew Carroll. I'm a paediatric gastroenterologist at the Stollery Children's Hospital in Edmonton, Alberta. This one in the middle is the button battery and you can see it's stuck. The energy from these button batteries causes tissue damage within about 15 minutes. So from my point of view, button batteries are one of the most dangerous things you can potentially have in your household. They need to stay in the packaging locked up until you're ready to use them. Um, when you remove them from devices or you have a device where it has, it's gone flat, don't presume that the batteries are dead. They still have enough, in, uh, enough energy in them to create injury. So we'll lock them up somewhere safe and then when convenient, drop them off to your recycling centre locally, but make sure to keep them away from the kids because if they do put them in their mouths, we have to treat that as a surgical emergency. The problem with these batteries, caregivers don't realize, I think they equate a battery just laying there, it's kind of like, it's harmless. And the reality is that children have died and are still dying from in accidentally ingesting these batteries.